So it's time for us to get to know more yeah. about you. Do you know what do you want to know about Stephanie? I know you follow her on I social mean, media I follow and everything. Her. She cracks me up. <laughs> like when I I don't speak tree, but whenever I watch you your videos, you don't speak tree. No, I don't. Oh why? Really. I speak God. I'm okay, God. I don't speak God. <laughs> I'm learning though, I do want to. Mm. Oh, okay. But I mean, I think what most people know about me is the fact that I have five children. I've been married for 33 years, 33 long years. Mm -hmm. um, it's been mm -hmm. amazing. My husband is accommodating because I'm a pain. You know, um, I love excitement in my home. My children always talk to me about everything, talking about sex. Mm. Which my is good. Old, yes. My oldest one came to me first before she had sex. She said she wanted to have um, some contraception. Yeah. I tried to talk her out of it, but I thought, okay, let's just stop that and just, you know. My number two did not have sex until she was 26. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, yes. And the partner she chose was, mm, I didn't like him, but, you know, she waited for about two years before she had, um, well, after yeah. they were dating to have sex at 26. And I knew he was only hanging around too to get yeah to get it yeah, but you know so, sometimes you can't change your children's mind mm -hmm. she loved him and she learned the hard way mommy always knows best but they don't always listen yes um number um four which is the other girl is um also had you know sex at 22 and she's still with a partner oh my, my daughter God. how yeah. do they feel <laughs> you're being exposed oh my God, I, in the world I, am not being exposed. I do not have anything about my family and we know it. They know I talk about it. I'm sure they're like, oh my God, I she's know. doing it again. But the first one, the guy she um, dated from 21 is the one she married. This okay. Nigerian That's boy. Lovely. But my son, number three, mm. had sex at 14. Oh, wow. And That's man, what I was oh, saying. Did, did, did he tell you before? No, his sister told me. He told his sister. Okay. And, 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 and it was an 18-year-old um, girl. Okay. But my oh, son okay. is six foot four. And at 14, mm -hmm. he was like oh, 5, okay. 10 or something. Yeah, okay. mm. And he looked a lot older. So this girl he dated, I th don't think he told her um, he was 14, his age. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so I found out two days later. And I had words with him about contraception. But because I'm so open about sex, and I spoke to them about sex when they were 8 years old. When mm -hmm. they hit 8, that's when we talked. We had the yeah, book out. To, yeah. And I said, that's your penis. <laughs> and that's your right now. And that one goes in, you make babies. You know? So let's you try have everything. To. It's important yes. to have these conversations. I was just so honest with my kids. Mm. They see me walking around the house naked. Yeah. You know, my husband was a little bit in the beginning was like, mm, maybe. And then he he started to as well until the kids got older and then yeah. the the boys are Yeah. Black men. Mm. So my yeah. husband just thought, okay, let me wear my pants now. <laughs> No, but it's important I'm not, to be comfortable. I'm not going to compete body. with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so good. <laughs> but but you know you know uh, walking around in the house naked mm -hmm. and your children being old right mm -hmm. now. Um, do you have any sense of regret that probably you know your children saw your nakedness at, at an early age? God no. God no. No, not at all. God no. Mm. I mean, my eight-year-old son, I mean, my youngest one, used to still cuddle my, my boobs when he was yeah. M8. They do that. Yeah. So, you know, cuddle and then, you know, like pull and play. I mean, it's all good. I don't mind at all. And I actually used to, occasionally when we were playing, I'll flick his penis. It was funny. But no, only like to, you know, I play, I play dirty. You're real funny, mom. No, but I play. <laughs> yeah, you remind me of my sister. Yeah. I like, like rough play with my boys. Yes. So mm. I'm a tomboy, really. I mean, I look like I'm all girly, girly, but I'm not. I mean, I'm a motorbike, you know, kind of freak, and I'm not into cars, you know, I, I'm, so my kids, I'm more sort of, more playful with my boys. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah. that is how it should be. I think yeah. um, having a good um, relationship, relationship with, with your parents mm -hmm. is very good so that we are more able to talk about things like sex, mm -hmm. sexual reproductive health. It's so important. And I, I was telling you earlier yeah. on that this is something I do, I'm mm -hmm. sure. And you do it in your own way on your um, Instagram page. Mm -hmm. For me, I go around to schools talking about sex, consent. Yeah. And you do the same thing on your page. You also talk about pleasure. Mm -hmm. You know, how it's important I talk about a lot for of pleasure. female you, you pleasure. You talk about so going on our like knees that. and yeah. all of that. Yes. I mean, <laughs> going on your knees is important. Mm. You know, because especially women asking, what is, are What not, are they talking about? What does she mean? I know, I can't be into it. But <laughs> I think women are not always into, you know, intercourse. Mm -hmm. You know, they get tired mm. very easily. 
and and sometimes you feel obliged to you know open you know the mm -hmm. legs for mm -hmm. a, a man and I always say you have to learn how to do things properly all right you know there are other things that could you know could happen why are you going on your knees he also has to go on his knees sometimes <laughs> you know it sort of works both ways so I'm always trying to get the overall you know yeah. different ways that you could you know Stephanie each other. Um, people are of the opinion that because your husband is not a Ghanaian ah, man yeah, that, is. that is why you are able to speak out about sex that's why you're able to play such games you see the first man you dated yes first and only man first and only man so uh, would you also be of the same opinion that probably if you had dated a different you know uh, person maybe you wouldn't well, have I mean when I was 18 I dated uh, um, well it wasn't dated so I was usually young um, a Ghanaian um, man boy his wife got I actually wanted to mention his name a few times mm -hmm. because he's married now but his wife realized it was me and she's like threatened him so you know women are so insecure mm. I mean because mm. obviously she doesn't look as good my mean <laughs> Because <laughs> no, the guy the oh. guy was my good friend mm. I mean even yeah. after marriage I mean I, I, you know we never sort of got that Again, that way past, so I just it? thought it's okay that you know, I would come to the country maybe call him and say how are you doing I'm married with five kids what am I gonna do with you the guy doesn't even look good anymore <laughs> I mean he's got, <laughs> His stomach is hanging out there. Ooh, he, he looks like a cosmopolitan, whatever they call it. Cosmopolitan. Uh huh. <laughs> so relax, why? But so I think some people, women, are just so insecure. So I don't like that. But otherwise, um, yeah, I think children really just need to learn. What was the question? Again? I was talking about the guy. I forgot about what the question was. <laughs> Was he any different from were you vocal no, when you think, were with him? Yes, I've always been this person. I have never been any different. Mm. And my mother was exactly the same. I remember when I was, I married my husband. Mm. My mother was in the lift with my husband on the day of my, you know, my wedding and said, mm -hmm. you know, if she doesn't do it right in the bed, come and tell me. <laughs> I will show her. So, so I know you're very active on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I know what you do because I always follow you. I share your videos. What else since you, you know, you're down in Ghana, mm -hmm. apart from being a grandma very soon, what, what other things are you up to? Oh, I'm always up to um, all kinds. The thing with me is I get bored easily. So I like to challenge my brain all yes. the time. So I'm doing so many things. People think I'm not focused, but I'm focused in my own way. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't... Some people will say that, you know, why don't you sort of plug your music a bit more? But I'm not really about plugging my music so much. I just love music. So I put it out. If you want to listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. If you don't want to listen, don't listen. But you I'm don't not make your money off music at all? God, no, not here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't even think your stars make that much money off music <laughs> here. But on social media, it looks like they do. But because people don't actually buy um, um, records it anymore. It like even that. in the UK, they don't. It's more about the branding and the, you know. So we, I just feel we have to very, be very realistic to the potential artists mm -hmm. coming up about what the reality of, is, of making money in music nowadays. Yeah. You know, you have to learn your art and be a good performer. That's right. hard because most of the money I, I make is from doing great performances yes. and mm -hmm. concerts and mm -hmm. whatnot, but not from sing, selling um, albums. Mm -hmm. Yes, royalties if you write your own thing, but good musical. Because mm -hmm. now everybody writes music and it's like, Choruses mm -hmm. you don't even understand, mm -hmm. and 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 so far as you, they can hear the doko me kind of doko doko, and then we'll be like, you know, hey, so be on Exactly, you know, and it's okay. So we, if we don't move on, you have to understand that it's not because we ha we don't have amazing artists here. Yeah, it's because just some of your songs don't make sense. Yeah, you know. So <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, it's the like, music has changed. With it time. has changed, it's but changed I, I I know it sort of changed everywhere. But the longevity of an artist, and which is what we need in this country, that's the only way you're going to make real mm, money, yes, is true. what I'm talking about. If you want to have one hit, fine. Mm -hmm. And with a song that doesn't make sense, it's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you want to be in the industry for a lot mm -hmm. longer to make some money, and that's when you do, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. then you have to start you know, having, I write very simple lyrics. But you do. they make like very, they make very simple. They make some which, of your, which of your songs do you think made the most impact? Oh, one more. It's because I was, I was wearing a bikini. <laughs> I do like that song. It's like, I, I mean, give so me the one. impact is because you were wearing a bikini? Give me These, one. You people, now nah, they don't see anybody, a woman my age with a bikini. I don't know yeah. if they go to the beach. But me, I wear bikinis. 
So that I could wear one. I'll take this off so and show you my if, bikini. If you had worn right the now, bikini, if it was even a show, I would have made you do Well, that. you know, maybe Samini as well, you know, because a lot of people didn't know me. I think mm. it was more like this older woman is is wearing a bikini at the pool. And as Dele would say, I then say, well, I said, why are you naked, Kaka? I said, I didn't. It's not naked. It's only, only naked. <laughs> naked is when you're not wearing like anything. 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 I was wearing a bikini. Mm. And I'm confident with my body. Yeah, and I think that's what I love about you. I think you are promoting self-confidence, body confidence mm -hmm. for a lot of women. Yeah. Even a lot of women your age, you mm -hmm. are promoting that they need to look after themselves. Yes. And that's exactly what even International Women's Day exactly. is about. You need to look after yourself. You need to know your body is a temple be proud that you of need who to be you proud are of. Proud and that's why i love sharing her her thing you, you know stephanie let me ask you this question that i think people are asking at home yes have you had any surgeries and you see yeah no never no cosmetic I haven't surgery had any, i've only had a double mastectomy and it, it was reconstructed i'm sitting here actually with pretty much no nipple no functional nipple i don't have a nipple on that one okay and there's one they tried to reconstruct but there's no pleasure on either of, of them right. it's just they took some fat from my ass and my stomach and wow. so i have ass for boobs and it's okay. fine yeah i mean so it, it's for me i don't care but surgery as to um cosmetic cosmetic surgery. Have oh, your ass done and whatnot. Yeah. I'll be going. Yes. I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> really. But no, I mean, I do take off my yeah. skin, my body, uh, my, I do mesotherapy, okay. which is great, it tightens the skin. So some of you think I've had fillers, but I haven't. Let me, let me quickly, let, let me sign up. It tightens the skin. It it's it's been like a great young. time. Like, let's hold our hands. It's been a great oh, time. Okay. A happy oh, International Women's Day to every woman out there. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time. Be good. But, uh, be good. Your final words to everybody we else. We love you. Okay. Stay true to yourself, love yourself, and be strong. Right, Ginny, International Women's Day. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Break the bias. We make a difference. Gender equality all the way. My name is Rosalind Feli. I've been doing this with Stephanie Bensing and Ginny Patterson. Thank you so much for watching the show. Of course, Showbiz Now comes off at 11.30 a.m. And we have more shows for you on Joy Prime. So don't tune out. Make sure you stay glued to your television set. We love you. Every woman out there will celebrate you. Them look so giddy giddy, giddy giddy, I say money money.